What is going on, players? And welcome back to the Journeyman with me, Foggy Plays on FM22. Today we're taking on Olympiakos in the Champions League Champions Path qualifying second leg playoff game or whatever it's I'm looking at it and I'm still not able to read it properly. Um this is the final game before the Champions League group draw. If we win, we're into the Champions League group stages, which would be exceptional um and we're also going to be taking on Duplisi in the league um it's a fan day so we're, we're going to go to that game and we're going to go all out attack assuming our players aren't dead but if you do want to enjoy this episode do make sure to leave a like and subscribe <laughs> right so since you were here last we played the first leg against Olympiacos we won 3-1 it was fantastic. Um, Serrano gave away an absolutely unnecessary penalty. The guy was facing the wrong direction with no players around him in the box. And Serrano just, it looked like he pushed him. So it was just a little bit frustrating. But we did win the game quite comfortably. Uh, Yarilim was playing on the left wing because we were very short on players. And uh, smashed the ball in the back of the net. And it was fantastic. And then against Listen, we won 3-0. Um, I started Anza before because uh, Chaldek was exhausted after the game against Olympiacos because there was only three days between those two games and there was only six days between Sparta Prague and Listen. So we've had a lot of games and it's only going to get worse with the Champions League if we do qualify. Um, we gave a debut to this 15-year-old who has four-star potential, um, Hamzik. He was absolutely insanely good. Um, Played an 8.5, was absolutely exceptional, had an assist, or he was man of the match, I think. Um, but it was it was a beautiful game, and he is now in our first team. Um, not necessarily going playing because we're playing Olympiacos, but he's still there. So as it is right now, we are top of the league. We've actually played more games than some of the teams in the league. But we've 15 points from five games. We're unbeaten, 16 goal difference. We are absolutely dominating. Everybody, we haven't been drawn in the Mall Cup yet, uh, which would be interesting to see what we get. But we have had a couple of transfers that have gone through. Um, Holic is on the verge of joining Universitita Craiova, who are also playing in the Champions League today. Um, this guy, don't care about him. Jose Mash Mashin is a central midfielder who's 1.1 million. Potentially on the way. Uh, Monza. Loki Doki's new club. Came from Monza to Paris FC. He looks like he could be a decent player. Like he's got good potential. Good current ability. We'll have to wait and see. An international. So, ooh. International. Um, and Calais. It looks like he could potentially be on the way out on loan. Um, a lot of players wanted some loan time. So I'm offering him out. Uh, no players have come in apart from Wal Wal uh, Walter Perez who was signed, according to my director of football, as a left-back option. But I'm struggling as it is to pick which left-back I want to start. So he's going to be a midfield option. Um, he's a decent ball-winning midfielder. Well, a pretty, a pretty good ball-winning midfielder. So we're going to have him um, playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Because, obviously, um, still haven't gotten ourselves a right-back to, you know, play on the regular, apart from Miller, so, or Muller. So Muller is going to continue playing at right back. So going into the Olympiacos game away from home. But we do have the 3-1 advantage. As you can see the team is playing quite well. Um, I did give Sipic a game against Listen, And he was absolutely horrendous. So he is sitting this one out again. Now we're going to start with Tapia in goal. Muller, Vitek, Salimi and Barnes as our back four. Barnes continues at left back. Because his average rating in the last five is 7.24. Yarlim 7.16. Um, and Yarlim's really good game was as a winger. Uh, Tischler and Kral are going to be in central midfield with Gonzalez, Serrano and Borek as our attacking midfield behind Chaldek, who has 10 goals already. So, fantastic. Uh, Holic is going to be out of this game for the moment because he's unhappy that a transfer was blocked because we didn't uh, accept an offer from Zlin, which was, I think, I think it was like 300,000 at the direct football had originally rejected an offer for him from uh, Craiova a couple of weeks ago now, I'd say. And, uh, yeah, 
he he didn't get too annoyed by that but then when Zel uh, Zelina came in for him and we rejected it he got a little bit a little bit spicy so we're just going to put him out of the team for a while um as you can see Loris Carius is their goalkeeper they're still playing with a full real team how many real players do we have uh four four real players that's not bad and like to be fair Tischler is probably coming towards the end of his time at the club although he did just sign a new two-year deal i think he signed a two-year deal um the director of football makes many many decisions that i wouldn't oh chaldeck does absolutely fantastically serrano's pass was beautiful absolutely perfectly weighted to absolutely destroy carius Krell. to be fair it's two playmakers that pass the ball to each other so, you know, mm. it's working fantastically. Kral with the ball to Serrano. Serrano beautifully weighted pass to Chaldek. And we are 4-1 up on the, on aggregate. 1-0 up on the night. And Celtic and Legia still at nil. Oh, Serrano tried a cheeky, you know, we tried this in training and it seemed to work in, in the, on pitch. Not so much. Uh, Gonzalez is back in for today's game he was i think arrested him for the game against listen <gasps> oh loris carius you poor poor man oh carius oh i think you're going to be on the thumbnail my friend oh loris carius oh i feel i feel bad I really, I really feel bad. That has to go down as the third worst goal he's ever conceded. Potentially. <laughs> oh, Carius. Never change, my friend. Never change. All the Liverpool supporters. Oh, beautiful. Play Muller's really up for it now after scoring that. <laughs> the strangest goal you'll ever see on FM. I think that might be. Like, we're, uh, we're, about to qualify for the Champions League, but it's going to be something to do with Lars Carius. As the <laughs> oh, I'm I feel so bad for him. When he joined Liverpool, I was like, "Oh, Lars Carius is a good goalkeeper. He's going to do well for them." And then he's just turned into a meme, and I think he may he may be a meme on the channel as well. Oh, that is. Hmm. And like to be fair, he's still only playing a six point three. He made an absolute mare of a mistake, and he's still on a six point three. Like if that was my goalkeeper that made that mistake, he'd have been on like a three. Um, but Tapia is a is a really good goalkeeper, and he's not not taking anyone's shit today. Serrano with the corner, Vitek. Oh, he's hit the <laughs> it. Oh, hit the crossbar. Carius was nowhere near getting it, so it would have been quite a comfortable goal for us. But we are 5 1 up on aggregate now. Yeah, I think, to be fair, um, Force, the Finnish striker who in in uh, real world is Brentford striker, who in FM was it 21, I did a Brentford save. Um, yeah, I think it was 21. And he turned into an absolute beast for me. I was looking at his stats before the first leg. He 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 went through an entire Premier League season without scoring a goal. Played seventeen games and didn't once hit the back of the net. So having him leading your line. Oh Vitek, beautiful tackle. Never in doubt. Serrano. Oh, finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez playing I've playing him as a winger because I discovered that the director of football told him we were going to play him as a winger, and he was throwing up a little bit of a fuss about the fact that he was not playing as a winger, which, you know. He was having he was playing exceptionally well as an inverted winger. I thought that maybe that wouldn't be too big of a deal. The Olympiacs are definitely making a mistake here. Yeah, Serrano gets on the end and Carius does manage to hold on to the ball this time. Um I think at half time we might make a couple of changes, take some of the important players off, give some not so important players a chance to get a game. Oh Borek. How has he missed that? Indeed, how has he missed that? Shakhtar have scored. And equalised in their game. So Holech might be leaving us to not play Champions League football. To be fair. I think he's only played twice this year. 
And after he made all those mistakes last year, he didn't play an awful lot. So he's not a nailed on first team player anymore. Um, because of how inconsistent he has been. So we'll just uh just keep playing to Pia and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna take Barnes off because he's playing okay. He's not playing exceptionally well. Yarolim can come on and play for or in his place. Um, I do at some point want to bring on Hamzic because, like I said, 15-year-old right back who has been very good in his one and only appearance. He's definitely going to play in the Mall Cup. Uh, we'll give him the game. Hopefully, we can get a team where we can win 16 nil like we did two years ago now. That was uh, an exceptional. I, I'm so... Oh, I love playing. It's like when you're managing Bundesliga and you get an absolute trash tier team and you win like 11 or 12 nil. It's just... Oh, Fantastic. Gonzalez with the cross. Chaldeck just, just over. Um, We might not actually have time to do the Tbilisi game. Because this recording is already like 11 minutes of just this part. Not including the intro. So we might just skip the Tbilisi game. Or just, uh, maybe, we'll, see. we'll see. I don't want the episode to run too long. And it looks like, may I just, you know, tentatively poke the bear. Uh, it looks like we're going to be in the Champions League group draw. So we're just going to just going to see how we get on. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll probably move Miller into centre midfield instead of Tischler. And then bring Hamzic on in a little bit. Vitek winning the ball back. I might have to take Vitek off as well because he is on a booking. And he's getting him all Kral. Pings through and Karius does manage to put the ball behind for a corner. Um, I'm guessing it's Serrano. Yeah, Serrano steps up to take the corner, whips it across, and it's cleared. Now, Sanchez takes far too long to settle himself, and uh, nothing comes of it. They've had seven shots, one on target. Yeah, 69th minute. <laughs> nice. Muller can move forward to play in central midfield. I'm going to move. Uh, actually, what do you. Yeah, you want to be a ball being midfielder? I'm going to play you as. Box to box and Krell can just move to the Mazella. Tischler can come off for Hamzic. And I think we do we leave it at that for now. Uh Borek isn't having a great game, so I'm gonna take him off for yeah, I'm gonna bring on Petrzak. I've never actually played Petrzak on the wing, so I've not even considered how good he would be as a winger. He's actually not terrible. So that is fantastic. You know, that's what you want to be thinking in the Champions League. You know, this player coming on, not terrible. Uh, Yarilim hasn't done a huge amount since coming off the bench. But then again, we haven't needed him to. And Shakhtar have decided that they want to be in the Champions League. So they've absolutely demolished Universidad Craiova. Celtic have taken the lead against Legia. So it's all, it's all kicking off now, lads. Everything's going mental. Um, Sundman, who you might remember, scored against us in the first round we played in. As uh, he was leading the line for young boys, but that does not matter because we have qualified for the Champions League group stage. Well done, lads! Get in. We are fantastic. Uh, Hamzic came off the bench and played a seven point two. So we're going to come back in just a second. We're going to do the Champions League group draw. So don't go anywhere. Our first time managing in the Champions League groups. It's going to be... Mm, guaranteed we get knocked out. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. All right, fellas. So it is time for us to draw the Champions League groups. And as you can see, we are obviously fourth seed. So it's to be expected. Um, I feel like we're going to get like the best team in every group. So we'll probably get like Arsenal. Roma or Barcelona. That'd be terrifying. Um yeah. I feel like I feel like we're gonna get the hardest group. Oh Bodo Glimt is, is in as well. Alright, so we're gonna draw okay, Arsenal came out first. That's interesting. So we can be drawn in any group because we're the only Czech team. Um okay, I'm not liking the look of any of these groups so far. Um yeah, none of these groups are nice. We can't get drawn in group A because they all start with A. So, is there any team? No. 
Bodo Glimt is the closest, so Bodo Glimt will probably get drawn in Group A. Uh, group C looks terrifying. Um, not looking... Group E looks terrifying. I don't like Group G. Ooh. 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 Okay. Is there any group I wouldn't mind getting? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, okay. I think maybe Group D wouldn't be the worst group in the world. But if we're looking to just get as much money as we can from teams being at our stadium, Group G, F, Maybe. Group H. Mm. Okay, so Leon have got, got drawn in Group A. Salzburg in Group B. Dean was a grave in Group C. Ali will take Group D. No, CSK Moscow. Fantastic. All right, we're going to get Group G probably. Uh, Michelin in Group E. Celtic in Group F. Bodo Glimt in Group G. So we have Man City, Roma and Shakhtar. Oh, no bueno. No bueno indeed. Oh, we're going to finish bottom of that group. I'd be I'd be happy if we scored a goal. I think if we can score goals, then it wouldn't be... I think we would have done quite well for ourselves. We've made it further than is expected. Uh, Man City and Roma, quite good teams. Shakhtar, as we saw, pretty decent as well. So at least we start the Champions League off in a relatively easily it's probably as easy as it could be we're starting at home against Shakhtar so what I think we're going to do is we'll probably do we'll skip the first first game because there's no point in coming back again so quickly because the season is just going to drag out we'll come up uh, we'll come back for Jablonek and Man City because Jablonek is a rival a local rival we'll take on Man City and get absolutely pounded um, and then we'll do Roma Mlad Bolosev. Then we'll do Shakhtar against Victoria Pulsen. It's all kind of worked out nicely. Um, assuming nothing changes because the Mall Cup could... Where's the Mall Cup gone? Uh, the Mall Cup could potentially move some of these games around. We'll have to wait and see. So leave a comment down below. Where do you think we're going to finish in our Champions League group? Um, and if you think it's bottom, how many goals do you think we're going to score? And how many goals do you think we're going to concede? Because I feel like it's going to be quite bad normally i'd go into a champions league group stage and be like ah, what's the worst that can happen you know we're we we'll pick up a couple of wins maybe a couple of draws like i said if we score goals that would be be fantastic oh it's not going to be it's not going to be a fun champions league i the money is fantastic we've already spent some of the money that's come in Um, we had like 18 million we've already upgraded our transfer or transfer our training facilities um, we've expanded our scouting range we're improving our youth facilities already um, we're looking for a new affiliate club we've improved our youth recruitment I'm pretty sure I asked them to to do didn't I? training facilities oh we signed a a player in between he's not worth not worth showing you so I'm just not going to bother yeah we're doing training facilities which should be done by January so they started, yeah, started yesterday. No. In, it'll start in two months. Oh, okay. So, like I said, comment down below. How do you think we're going to do in the Champions League group stages? I'm not looking forward to getting absolutely shit-stomped week in, week out. But, alas, we, if we finish third, we'd be in the Europa League. <laughs> that would be nice. So if you did go on to enjoy this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. Thank you for watching, fellas. And I will see you in the next one.